I find this question very interesting because it's one of a kind. Welcome back to my channel. Why did I say that this question is one of a kind? You are going to stay tuned, watch to the end and see why. Okay, welcome back to my channel once again, especially if this is the first time you are joining us. You are highly welcome. Okay, now, first of all, let's cross multiply. So if we cross multiply, we are going to have two times this will give us two brackets, one plus x is equal to this is two over one right is equal to x plus one now let's open the bracket if we do that we have two times one is two plus two times x is two x is equal to x plus one now let's transfer everything to the left hand side so we have two plus two x this will cross to become minus x and this will cross to become minus 1 is equal to 0. So this can be written as 2 minus 1 plus 2x minus x is equal to 0. I'm trying to group like terms. So I've just grouped like terms. Now 2 minus 1 is 1 plus 2x minus x is x right is equal to zero now we are looking for the value of x so let's subtract one from both sides subtract one from both sides so if you do that we will have sorry i'm trying to draw a straight line so if we do that, we have 1 plus x equals 0. This is what we have there. 1 plus x is equal to 0. Subtracting 1 from both sides, we have 1 minus 1 plus x is equal to 0 minus 1. 1 minus 1 is 0, so we have x is equal to minus 1. Now let's verify. Let's verify. So if we verify this, Let's see what we have. The question says x plus 1 over 1 plus x is equal to 2. Now, if x is equal to minus 1, we have minus 1 plus 1 over 1 plus minus 1. Is this equal to 2? Now, minus 1 plus 1 is 0. And 1 minus 1 is also 0. Is this equal to 2? Now, 0 divided by 0 is undefined. Is undefined. And that shows that minus 1, x equals minus 1 is rejected. Okay? It's not a root. It's not a root. Now, let us try another method. Okay? If this is the first time you are seeing us, Please click that subscription button so that you don't miss our videos. Yes, click the subscription button and turn on your notification bell. Why? So that anytime we upload new videos, you will be notified that yes, JJ Maths Class has already uploaded a new video. All right, then um, give us a thumbs up if you love what we are doing. Like, comment, and share. It helps the algorithm to know that yeah, this particular. Yeah, math is okay and can be pushed to wider audience which includes my students they are the reason why i'm shooting this video okay thank you very much all right now using another way so if we cross multiply we are going to have two times one plus x is equal to x plus one right now two times one is two 2 times x is 2x is equal to x plus 1. So we have 2. If this process we have minus 1 plus 2x is equal to x. We are trying another method, right? Now 2 minus 1 is 1 plus 2x is equal to x. Now let's square both sides of this equation. 
squaring both sides we have 1 plus 2x squared is equal to x squared now remember that a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared all right so that means we can solve this as 1 squared plus 2 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 2x plus 2x squared is equal to x squared. So we have 1 squared, which is 1, plus 2 times 2 is 4. So we have 4x plus 2 squared is 4 x squared is x squared is equal to x squared now let's bring this in if we do that we have 1 plus 4x plus 4x squared minus x squared is equal to 0 1 plus 4x plus now plus 4x squared minus x squared is plus 3x squared is equal to zero so this is a quadratic equation let's rearrange and maybe just maybe we might from the two um, solutions we will get maybe two of the solutions one of them might be the solution to our problem so if we rearrange this we have 3x squared plus 4x plus 1 is equal to zero now our a is 3 our b is 4, our c is 1. Using the quadratic equation formula, x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything divided by 2a. So x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 squared minus 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 1 everything divided by 2 multiplied by 3 are you enjoying this yeah <laughs> because i am all right now we have x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 12 everything divided by 2 multiplied by 3 x is minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 divided by 2 multiplied by 3 so x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus now square root of 4 is 2 divided by 2 multiplied by 3 so if we solve further we have x is equal to now let's factorize 2 from the numerator minus 4 divided by 2 is minus 2 plus or minus 2 divided by 2 is 1 divided by 2 multiplied by 3. Now 2 we divide 2. And we have x is minus 2. Plus or minus 1 over 3. Now it simply means that the first value of x from here. Is minus 2 plus 1 over 3. And the second value is. Minus 2 minus 1 over 3. So the first value is minus 1 over 3 and the second value is minus 3 over 3 which is equal to minus 1 now let us verify because that is what we tell us the one that is the right answer okay now when x is minus 1 over 3 we will have minus 1 over 3 plus 1 divided by 1 plus minus 1 over 3 now is this equal to 2 
Okay. So if we solve this, the LCM is 3. When 3 divides 3, we have 1. 1 times minus 1 is minus 1. Plus, where 1 divides 3 is 3, 3 times 1 is 3. Over. Now, this is over 1, so the LCM is 3 as well. When 1 divides 3 is 3, 3 times 1 is 3. Plus, when 3 divides 3, we have... I don't want to get confused. Yeah. Now, when 3 divides 3, we have what? 1. 1 times minus 1 is minus 1. Now, is this equal to 2? So, if we solve for that, if we solve for that, we will have minus 1 plus 3 will give us 3 minus 1, which is 2. So, we have 2 over 3 divided by, now, 3 plus minus 1 is certain as 3 minus 1, which is 2 over 3. Again, is this equal to 2? Now, a number divided by itself is 1. So it means that if we solve this, we get 1. And 1 is not equal to 2. This simply means that x equals minus 1 over 3 is not a solution. Now, the last but not the least solution that we got is x is equal to minus 1, right? Now, remember that that is exactly what we got when we used the first method. And we've already verified it and it is not true. So this simply means that we end up with what? No solution. And that is why I said that this is a no solution problem. Yes. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.